getting old. Plot my death again, are we, Herbert? That was a one-time thing. Do you really still hold a grudge, Madam Gertrude? I should think not. I also found out that your little friend Mick has just been sent away for all the little stunts that you pulled. And if I find you and your little gang of misfits again, I shall make sure of it that you never see a friendly face again! Not Mick, not Susan, nor Betty H or Betty G. Now run along and behave, you little shit! Don't worry, Madam Gertrude. I'm not out to get you anymore. That bitch has gotta go! Ahem. Ahem. I said ahem! I said ahem! Uh, what? Morning, Mick. Be a good man and wake up, everybody, will you? Oh, uh, okay, sir. Wake up, everybody. Good. Now that we're all here, let's get this show on the road. Mick, if you will. Welcome to the annual meeting of the... Secret Society of Elders. The Secret Society of the Elders. What did he say? Something about a variety of welders. Why would we be talking about an anxiety of welders? No, he said a variety of welders. Why are we here again? Shut up! Shut up, all of you! This isn't some game of Chinese whispers. All right, shall we begin? Well, Margaret said her granddaughter's going to have a baby. Aww. No, the report, Betty, the report. Report? The one for the breakout. Shh, 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 shh. Don't shush me, it's rude. The one for the breakout. That's Betty H and Betty G. Apart, they're useless, but together, however, they're, uh, less useless, I suppose. Oh, right, I remember now. Let's see here. Has anybody seen a bird with one eye? There it is. Uh, <laughs> that's Mick. He's been my friend the longest out of everyone here. Not that he can remember it. His memory's shit, his hearing's shit, and his jokes are shittier. Anyway, Betty, you're about to tell us the list you made of Madame Gertrude's movements, right? What? I, I wasn't doing anything, Herbert. The other one. No, I'm the other one. I've got a name, you know. Can't we all just get along? That's Susan. She stinks of piss and biscuits. Please, just get on with it. Right. 8 a.m. she arrives for work, she unlocks the doors and lets us leave for breakfast. Then she goes to the kitchen for a morning coffee.
9 a.m. she cleans the home. And then, oh, 10 a.m. she has a chat with you, Herbert. Oh, fuck off, Herbert. Good morning, Madam Gertrude. 11 a.m. she takes us out for our morning exercise. And then I have no clue for a bit because I fell asleep. But then at three, she puts us all to bed. I gotta sleep! 3.15, she puts the kettle on to make her second cup of coffee for the day. And then 3.16, she's out of milk and she realizes and she heads off to go and get more. And then... All right, I've got a plan. We're getting out of here tonight. What's happening? We're going to escape. Hey, she wants some cake. No, we are going to escape. She always wants cake. No, we're going to escape. Where's that? No, it's not a place. He says you can't have any cake. We're going somewhere. I know, I told you. We're going to escape. We haven't got any cake. Fuck it. Here's the plan. At 3 p.m. when they put us to bed and give us the tablets, we hide the tablets under our tongues. Then Betty's, this is where you two come in. You two slip the tablets into Madame Gertrude's coffee while she's out getting milk. I'll keep a lookout for when she falls asleep. Then when I give the signal, Mick, you take the keys from her, then we all meet up at the back exit ready to make her escape. What do I do, sir? Oh, I have an extra special job for you, Susan. 40, 50, 70, 80. Are you sure this is helping, Herbert? Yes, yes. Just keep doing what you're doing. Good job. Don't disturb me again. What in God's name is she doing? Don't get us all caught. Hey, Herbert. What now, Susan? Well, I was just thinking. Oh, uh, I thought you put that thinking nonsense in after to the professionals. Well, it's just, could, could I maybe just be the lookout just for one? What? No. You just fuck it up our last time. I won't. I promise, Herbert. I said no, Susan. You're a bad luck charm and I'm not going to blow this on you. Just let me have one go with the binoculars. Susan, stop, go break them. What did I ever do to you? You want everything, Susan. Is that the signal? Have you ever seen a bird with one eye? Fine, you take it. Finally. Oh, <laughs> fuck!